Yo, what's up, YouTube? James back here. Welcome back to another episode of VGC 2019 Bexwick Battles. Today is the last episode. We are going to be using this Yveldon team with Yveltal, Groudon, on top of Coco, Metagross, Incineroar, and Mimikyu. If you do want to go check out Kazuki, who used this team to get top four at the 2019 Pokemon World Championship, the article is in the description down below, alongside his Twitter if you want to go give him a follow. But otherwise, we are going to get started and play some games with this team and the question of the day is which of the Hoenn Wetter trio do you most like or most prefer mine would probably be, be Kyogre I just really do love Kyogre both competitively and design I do really love water types as well so Kyogre is probably my favorite especially to use I love the fact you have a 100% accurate move in Water Spell. Of course, Groudon has a rough chain, but I always like Kyogre because I think Rain is just something that's so strong. But let me know yours in the comment section down below. Are you a fan of Groudon? Are you a fan of Kyogre? Or are you more of a fan of Rayquaza? And I restarted my rating because I couldn't find games. Uh, for taking half an hour to find games, I think, is a little bit ridiculous. So I'm going to be starting uh, back at 1500, but we have a opponent. With a team of Necrozma, Dustmane, I almost said Solgaleo, Kyogre, Salamence, uh, Tapu Koko, Tapu Lele, and Celesteel. Definitely a threatening team, no doubt. But, yeah, we'll see how this goes. I do like... Mm, probably, I would like the combination of... Tapu Koko, Metagross, Groudon, Yveltal, I think. Overall, yeah, I like that combination a lot. I like Tapu Koko, Metagross as a lead because of the fact that Electroweb is pretty solid against my opponent's team, and I can Electroweb into a... Uh, Electroweb just threats like the uh, Tapu Koko, and then Metagross can go for the Tommy Tantrum double up, which I really like. Having Groudon, Yveltal in the back is solid. Incineroar does kind of look nice for the Salamence, as well as Celesteela and Tapu Lele. And can do well against Necrozma, but I don't think it's exactly the call. Um, because I feel like I want my own top... I want my... I feel like I want all the other Pokemon more than I want Incineroar. And Mimikyu, it's alright in this matchup, but I wouldn't say it's the best Pokemon here. So, we'll see how this goes. Not exactly too sure, but... Yeah, I think the priority, of course, is to get rid of the Tapu Koko so my Yveltal can do a lot of work. Because if Yveltal is freed up, it just does so much against my opponent's team. My opponent doesn't exactly have a Dark Resist other than Tapu Koko. And Tapu Koko is the only thing that really just does a lot of damage to the Yveltal other than Kyogre with a Electric type move. It has Thunder or a Water Spout. Speaking of Tapu Koko, we're going to see the Tapu Koko lead off with the Salamence right here. So... Um, interesting position here. I don't know if my opponent's going to go for Talon or not, which is the scary part, because if you do go for Talon, it's going to be a little bit troublesome here. So, I could go for Nature's Madness. I could also go for the Z move into Tapu Koko to put in range of Bullet Punch if I really want to. The question is, do I really want to use it on the Tapu Koko? Because I could save it, potentially. Um... I think it is kind of worth it to de deal with the Tapu Koko since I think Tapu Koko is the biggest threat. I could use on the Celesteel. I'm not really too worried about Celesteel at the moment though. So yeah, I think I'm just going to protect Metagross and go for the Z move into the Tapu Koko. As we actually see Salamence protect here. So that's completely fine. I think I would have preferred the, uh, to get a uh, Electro Web off here because I could have stopped me Tantrum the following turn. Um, my Tapu Koko does go first and we'll use that Guardian of Alola right here onto the opposing Tapu Koko. So as long as it's not Barry, we should be good. Then Bullet Punch can finish off this Tapu Koko, which is great. Um, the problem is my opponent, I assume, goes for Tail in the following turn. So my opponent is going to have a speed advantage. But as long as I'm able to play through that, I feel like I'm in a pretty solid spot. So we'll slam down this Tapu Koko. For some nice 75% chip. And Electroweb actually going to come out from my opponent's side. So that Tapu Koko also revealing the Electroweb. Uh, targeting down my Tapu Koko. And Metagross protected. So yeah, it looks like we had some similar ideas. I'm going to go for... Do I need a speed advantage against Salamence? Or do would I rather just go for a Nature's Madness? Mm, I think I'd rather go for Electroweb right here. 
And I think we're gonna go for that bullet punch into the top of Coco slot. I just don't know if bullet punch will KO uh, from regular Metagross, but I assume it would. I feel like that amount of HP bullet punch would be able to care, care, carry. But we're actually gonna see the switch out into top of Lele, which is a smart play for my opponent. And I was not considering that because of the fact that it does weaken my opponent's electric type attacks, but that's a really smart play, actually. Um, as we see the Zim of oh no, it's just a guardian of a lot. <laughs> All right, looks like we're gonna see two guardians face off against each other in this battle. Ah, uh, that's fine, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. We're gonna see the Guardian of Alola here, probably talking my Metagross, I assume. That was a really nice play by my opponent's end, but I still think I'm firing because I Electrowebbed instead of Nature's Madness here. So, into the Metagross? Yep. Alright, so I'm taking a lot of health. But the fact is, these Pokemon are the threats to the Yveltal, and if I can get rid of these threats, I feel pretty good. Electro will come out into both of these Pokemon, and will be able to lower the speed. So if it is a Scarf Top of Lele, or if it's Focus Ash, I do break that. And now I think I could just go for a Volt Switch into the Tapu Koko. And I get to just Iron Head the top of Lele slot. Uh, there's no reason not to just Iron Head the top of Lele slot. If Salamence switches in, it doesn't really matter because of the fact that I am clear body on the Metagross before Mega Evolving. So if the Salamence switches in, I don't even take the Intimidate. And then Iron Head's still going to do a hefty chunk regardless. Uh, the fact is, Iron Head, I'm pretty much going to be able to get a KO here on the top of Lele. As long as it doesn't carry Protect and then the top of Coco, we speed tie each other, I guess. But we'll see here. I feel like it might be a slower top of Coco for my opponent's side. Iron Head is going to come out, knock out the top of Lele. So we are able to get rid of top of Lele, which is nice here. And uh, let's see if there is a... Okay, yep, my top of Coco is faster. And we are able to knock out my opponent's top of Coco. So top of Coco does go down. And I'm able to bring out a new Pokemon here. And I'm probably just going to bring out my Yveltal right here. Don't see a reason not to bring out the Yveltal. It is pretty good in this matchup, and I can go for a foul play into that Salamence slot. And I think I'll also go for a... Hmm, do I want a Bullet Punch, or do I want an Iron Head? I think I just double up the Salamence slot regardless. Even, yeah. Because Kyogre, you want to assume, is the last Pokemon in the back. Unless it's the uh, Krasma, which I wouldn't think. Yeah, it's going to be that Kyogre, so no surprise there. That the Kyogre is the last Pokemon in the back. I do want to foul play Iron Head to Salamence slot. Because even if Salamence protects and Kyogre goes for Spout, uh, it doesn't matter. Because the fact is my Yveltal will be guaranteed to survive that hit. Because of the investment in the special defense we have on this Yveltal. And then uh, we just get a free switch into probably the Groudon and, or Tapu Koko even. And we could go for Electroweb and a bunch of other shenanigans. So I think we're in a pretty decent spot. We just double up here. The Salamence with an Iron Head plus a... I don't know if Salamence can even knock out Metagross. Probably with a Double Edge, but I don't know. That's also the fact that the Metagross is like what... I forgot how high its physical defense stat is, but it's pretty high. So we'll see. Let's see what the Meta, what the Salamence goes for. It's going to be the... Um, protect from the Kyogre actually not wanting to take something. And Salamence is slower than my Yveltal. Not what I was expecting. So, a bunch of damage. Tailwind goes up. So, it's slower than Yveltal, yet faster than my Metagross? That's a really weird spread. Ironhead gonna come out into the Salamence slot, which will be able to pick up a KO onto Salamence. And that is gonna be the game, I think. I can go out into my Groudon if I want to, but I don't really have a reason. Ah, actually, no. I might as well just Snarl here and go Groudon. The reason I go Groudon is even if you Ice Beam, uh, it prevents like ice beam freezes on my Yveltal if my opponent goes for a water spout crit I mean I think we still did this game regardless but just trying I think this just is a better way to handle the end game because like my opponent could maybe theoretically win with like a quite a bit of luck but this reduces the uh possibilities that my opponent has of getting that luck specifically an ice beam freeze or a water spout uh, crit onto my Yveltal here so bring out the Groudon and we'll see what my opponent does. Maybe I should have just foul played, but it doesn't really matter, I think. Goes for the Scald, actually. Okay. It's now going to go out into the Kyogre slot. So the Kyogre is going to be a minus one special attack. And this should seal up the game because now foul play, Earth Power, 
the tail one's gonna peer out soon. I can bring out my Tapu Koko once that happens, once the Kyra is shipped. And this game should be 100% sealed at this point. Match is going to be forfeited because my opponent realizes that there is no possibility of my opponent taking the game. And we will be able to win the first game of today's episode. So, not much to say. The fact is I was able to get the Tapu Koko really low. I was able to remove the big threats to your belt all immediately. And then isolate the Kyogre by itself. That way Groudon the rest of my Pokemon could basically just handle the Kyogre since it can't go for a Water Spot or Origin Pulse under like Tailwind when the sun is up. So pretty good game one I think. I think we were just able to power through I think my opponent's team and yeah it's really hard to deal with uh, Metagross I feel like with Kyogre teams under the sun because usually you rely on Kyogre maybe you rely on Incineroar or two but the fact is the Tapu Koko with the Z move it just always does a 75% to whatever Pokemon that is on the field as long as they don't protect and then pretty good spot overall as we got Teal from the United States as our next opponent uh that's a interesting team it does have restricted though so it is at least decently competitive it's actually kind of scary because the landers is actually very scary for my team as well um let's see what i want to go here a uh, yveltal is definitely good here i do want to bring the yveltal a uh, yveltal plus top of coco i think is pretty solid i just wish i had more speed control that dealt dealt with the landers if it's scarf landers that's going to be really annoying for this team I think I go Metagross plus Groudon, but I don't even like Metagross in this matchup. What does it do? It hits Tyranitar. Does it really do anything else? I don't think it does. Um, I guess it chips Feeny, but that's not really helpful. It doesn't even have Ice Punch for the uh, Zapdos, so I think I'm actually going to go Incineroar. Just so I can have a way to slow down that uh, Landris, because again, I think the Landris is the biggest threat. I think Landris is a very scary Pokemon for this team. Any ground type is actually really scary for this team. Of course, we do have four ground weaknesses on this team, so let's see how this goes. I'm hoping that the Landris is in Scarf, and I can maybe go for Nature's Madness Foul Play to knock it out, which would be very nice indeed. But let's see what my opponent decides to do here. Charizard is also kind of scary, because it does a lot of damage to my uh, team, but I think Yveltal should be able to tank the attacks just fine. A Charizard type of Fini will lead. Okay. Against the Yveltal and Tapu Koko. Hmm. So I have no idea what my opponent wants to do. Could be a Nature's Madness. Could be a uh, Nature's Madness Protect. Could be Tailwind on Charizard. There's just so many potential options right now. I think I'm going to go for the Snarl right here into my opponent. And I think I'm going to retreat into Incineroar since I do have that fake out pressure and this Salt Vest is actually pretty handy in this matchup. But I will go for the Volt Switch and Snarl right here. I don't know if Charizard protects or not, but it's very likely that Feeny doesn't protect here. I don't know there could be a Lander Switch. I could definitely see my opponent going hard into Landers right here. I, my opponent so calls desires it from either slot actually. Landers could come in for either slot, which would be scary. Uh, Feeny could just go for an Icy Wind or Madness here. It just really comes down to what my opponent really wants to do here. What's in the back? I am guessing it's going to be the Kyogre and Landers in the back. Charizard going to Mega also. I want to say it's going on the offense. We also don't know who's faster between the Charizard and the Veltal. The Charizard, they do tend to run max speed on a lot of teams. But we have no clue. It would have to be max speed to us be my Veltal. Uh, no protects either, so I am going to get a Volt Switch off into the Feeny. So I wonder if it's Tailwind coming up, or like Tailwind Icy Wind, or it's just a fire type attack. We'll go Incineroar here. I think I can knock off the Feeny, which would be nice. My opponent can't do too much damage to my Incineroar without going for Madness, unless the Charizard has Focus Blast. That would be scary. That would be scary. Okay, the Charizard's slower, and we do hit Snarl, so at least the Charizard's not going to do too, too much to us now. Let's see what my opponent's going to do. Icy Wind, potentially? Tailwind does come out, okay. Icy Wind or Madness is probably the next step. Oh, it's actually just Moonblast. Okay, that shouldn't do too much to my Yveltal. Oh my lord, why did do... Oh, that's Specs, isn't it? 
Yeah, that has to be specs. There's no way it did that much at minus one. Okay. So I get to go for a knockoff, I think, into the Feeny slot and get rid of that choice specs that we're looking at right here. Stall out, turn a tail, and, and then next turn I can go for a snarl and U turn, I think. As long as the Charizard doesn't switch out immediately. It actually, if Landers can come in under tail, and that's scary. So I gotta make sure I am careful about that. I'm gonna have to find a position. I gotta keep Yvelto alive, too, because I just lose the Landers if it. Uh, is a if my opponent does get it for free, so I'm gonna knock off the Feeny slot. Uh, we're gonna see the Feeny retreat here, so that's kind of bad for me. Landers is gonna reveal itself here, okay? Hmm, that is super scary. That is super scary. Um, Charizard protects. Interesting. Okay. I kind of wish I went for an offense here, but that's all right by me. I will protect here. I get to find out what kind of Landers this is, if it's Z or not. So let's see. Knock off into the lander slot. It is an item. Assault vest, actually. Okay. Hmm. I think we should be good. Okay, so you can't knock out Incineroar in one hit. I don't think you can knock out your Velta. I don't think Rock Slide Heat Wave would do it. Um, I'm going to foul play the Landers because I need to get rid of the Landers. And I think I'm going to U-turn out the Lander slot too since I know Landers can't protect here. Uh, I don't think I have a safe play. Tapu Koko doesn't want to switch in. Groudon doesn't want to switch in. And my opponent clicks Earthquake, so I can't risk that. Uh, we'll see what my opponent does. It's actually going to be Charizard that's hard switching here into the Feeny slot once again. So, bringing out that threat of a Tapu Feeny. And Rock Slide. Okay. Yavelto avoids, which is huge. I don't think it would have KO'd, but I think it would have activated Barry. And then I would have just had to fight through a flinch. So, we're able to get a foul play off in the Landers, which should be able to get the knockout. Yep. Alright, so that's the biggest threat, I think, to the team gone. And I don't flinch with Incineroar, which is nice, because now I get the U-turn off. I can go into Top of Coco, stall out this uh, turn of Terrain here, and then I could Volt Switch to Feeny for the KO the following turn. So we're in a pretty good spot right now. Uh, yeah, we're in a pretty good spot. We're already one up in the Weather War against the Kyogre in the back, and yeah, this is looking pretty decent right here of a situation. Let's see what my opponent's going to bring out to the following if it's going to be that charizard or if it's going to be that kyogre so hmm, i think i think we bring out kyogre i feel like it's not a good spot for the kyogre it's not a good spot for the charizard either so my opponent really has to make a decision i think oh zapdos no kyogre oh that's an interesting one um okay I double protect here, I get the scout for a Z potentially. And that means I get a free Volt Switch off in the Fini slot every time, which is nice. Yeah, and I think Groudon can win the game if I just am able to get rid of the Charizard. I'm just worried about Charizard doing too much damage to uh, my Groudon and then I'm getting stalled out. There's also a possibility my opponent reads the double protect and switches out into Charizard, but I don't think like that's a big problem at all so let's see what my opponent decides to do here uh it stays in with both i am gonna go for the double protect i don't think he could capitalize off either i know that's choice specs feeling there's no way he did that much to belt on with minus one moon blast a heat wave gonna come out okay and a is it just offensive feeny the fact that Moonblast just did so much without specs it actually amazes me. Uh, we are going to see the Z move here. It is going to be the Hydro Vortex. I'm guessing this is into the top of Coco slot then. Jeez, the fact that Moonblast just did so much is crazy to me. <laughs> I still can't get over that. A Hydro Vortex into top of Coco. It doesn't do much damage. And I can go for Electroweb here and a Snarl, I think. Yeah, which I am going to go for. Actually, I should always Volt Switch to Feeny because Electroweb doesn't really benefit me against the Zapdos. At least not at the moment. Uh, and also, we have no idea if... The only reason I didn't want to Volt Switch is because I don't know if Feeny has Protect. But I'd rather get the Volt Switch off and risk a Protect than me missing Electroweb here. 
And even if Feeny does reveal Protect, it doesn't really change much because I could always switch out in the following turn. Bolt Switch will knock out the Feeny, which is good here. So that means it's a 2v4 uh, situation. I can get an Incineroar in for an Intimidate. I could find out if the Zapdos is Z or not with the knockoff. I wonder if it's Misty Seed or if it's a, uh, you know, one of the choice items. Or, no, it wouldn't be choice, right? I think it would be Seed or Z. Snarl. Zapdos is slower than the Veltal, so let's see if it has Tailwind. No, it just goes for Heat Wave. Okay. It gets a critical hit on my Veltal, looks like. Yep. We'll proc my berry. Don't know. That might be more helpful than hurtful for me at the moment. I could go for fake out and Zapdos and then just snarl. That's something that is going to reset, although it kind of hurts. It doesn't really... It's not like too big of a deal. Cars are going to come out. Okay. We go for snarl. We go for fake out. I think we just keep clicking Snarl here. And we fake out the Zapdos. Because Charizard can protect, Zapdos is in a Pokemon that always carries protect. So I think it's the better play just to fake out the Zapdos. I think we already saw that Charizard reveal protect earlier in the game. Oh, it looks like both have protect. Goes for the detect instead. And actually attacks with Charizard. It's a smart play by my opponent's side getting that read right, but... As long as I am able to get Snarls off, I should be good. Snarl off into Charizard. Critical hit doesn't really matter. Talon goes up. Although I don't really see how my opponent really touches the Incineroar with minus one Zapdos, minus one Charizard with our Assault Vest in deck. I will go for a knockoff into... I guess the Charizard, since the Charizard's more of a threat at this point of the game, I can put in range of Electro up guaranteed, and also I could, like... Because I don't think knocking out the Zapdos is immediately crucial. Blast Burn into the Abeltal. And Thunder. <laughs> Thunder on the Sun Team, 50% accurate, gonna hit the Incineroar. But not much damage at all, it does get the Paralysis though. And, uh, let's see. Knockoff does connect though into the Charizard. This KO? No, it doesn't, but that puts in range of Sucker Punch, so my opponent does have to be wary of that. I'm gonna go for the Sucker Punch. Don't see a reason not to. Even if Charizard protects or not, I don't think it's that big of a deal. And then we'll just knock off the Zapdos here. Yeah, so Thunder, Zapdos. I mean, it makes sense. You have an Ogre. <laughs> but still. This was actually a potentially scary team and my opponent brought the Kyogre and playing a uh, use land was able to use the landers better. Uh Charizard does go down to the sucker punch. The heat wave comes out from my opponent's side. Doing absolutely no damage even in the sun. Knockoff gonna come out. Let's see if it is a uh, oh wow. Wow. Dark Aura boosted the crit, knocks out the Zapdos. And uh it was the Misty Seeds on the Zapdos, so we are able to pick up another win for today's episode and i think that's actually going to be it for this team i think we hit the timer uh but yeah maybe not the, mo the most exciting game to leave off but it was a very scary team it could have actually been super scary depending on sets uh again if landers was able to be put in a great position under tail and if charizard was actually faster uh because blast burn might have actually killed the Yveltal. the fact is if it was able to outspeed or avoid a star and blast burn happen, oh man, I don't have the best switch into it. Like, Charizard would take a lot of damage. Incineroar Assault Best might take it decently, but the fact is, none of my Pokemon really like taking uh, Charizard attacks or Landers attacks effectively, which is something weird to say, but it is true about this team. But hope that everyone enjoyed today's episode of VGC 2019 Back to Back Battles. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like down below, show your support. Plus, you can leave a comment down below and share this video with your friends. Answer the comment question of the day, which is, which of the Hoenn Trio is your favorite? Is it the Groudon, Kyogre, or Quaza? Which are you most fan of? But otherwise, you can check out the rest of my stuff down below in the description, such as my social media, side series on my channel, and more. 
if you do want to go an extra mile to support my channel, you can support me on Patreon or through my Twitch channel. I am very thankful to the people who support me on those platforms, but otherwise, that is pretty much it. If you have used this team, if you have enjoyed this team, or let me know what your thoughts about this team in the comments down below from what you've seen so far. But otherwise, that's pretty much it. Next time, we're going to be using another team from the World Championship, but otherwise, Thank you all for tuning in. Have a great day, people. Until we battle again, I'll catch y'all later. Thank you.